Numerous colleges and universities have implemented gender-neutral housing to accommodate student needs, and Bowling Green State University hopes to follow this trend. I know um, some people do not feel comfortable enough with the living arrangements that they are now, so the proposed idea is to be in a more of a suite-style setting that would be able to have separate bathrooms but also have male and females live in the same room together. And I feel that gender-neutral housing would just be able to create kind of like an opportunity for those students just, you know, feel more welcome and know that they're in, you know, an accepting environment. Because like here in BG, you know, we have all different types of people, you know, and one of the main things about our school is that we always listen to each other and we always learn from each other. And I feel that with gender-neutral housing, you know, it would be able to, you know, create kind of like a more of that learning environment. To keep up with current student issues, this Tuesday, RSA will be voting to support or decline gender-neutral housing. Many students support the issue, but others have their concerns. I think people will be hesitant of having gender-neutral housing because they may believe that more couples will want to move, move in together, um, which could cause a bit more conflict if something happens between the relationship or um, that it'll take up more housing area and that it won't be enough for other students to be able to have their housing that they prefer. RSA encourages students to talk to your hall council members to be properly represented in this very important vote. BG24 News, I'm Lucas Stahl.